Okay, first off, I just want to say that this is a very bad kitty. He keeps crapping in my room and he won't go away. Bad kitty. And then the second thing I want to say is, and this is sort of a shout out to uh, Jacob Kaiju, I believe his name is. This was the shirt I was wearing last week. No, it is not Spittle. It is part of the design. <laughs> so now that I got that out of the way, here, you can watch that. Um, I'm reviewing That's My Boy, which stars Adam Sandler and Andy Samberg. Now, what is my opinion on these people? Um, well, first off, with Andy Samberg, because he's more simple, I just started re-watching SNL again in the last three or four months, and uh, I think he's pretty funny on that. I like his SNL digital shorts. But his only movie that I'm aware of is Hot Rod, which I just thought was eh. I thought it had its moments, but it wasn't laugh out loud funny. So I have an open mind with him, but I, I wouldn't necessarily call myself a fan in terms of his movies anyway. Adam Sandler is a bit more complex. I'm somewhere in between indifferent and casual fan. Um, I used to love his stuff when I was a kid. I thought Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, Waterboy, they were all great. But I don't know if they hold up if, if they would hold up now. Um, it seemed to me like things started coming undone for him uh, around the time when he did Little Nicky. I thought that movie also had its moments, but it was pretty bad. Otherwise, it was just a bit too stupid. And then he started making more dramatic films, which I can't blame him for because yeah, that kind of his spiel with Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore that would get old eventually. Um, but at the same time, even though apparently he does pretty good in these dramas. I just don't really want to watch them. I haven't seen Spanglish. I haven't seen Punch Drunk Love. Uh, I haven't seen Funny People. And in the move, some of his movies, like they would try to balance, you know, the the dramedy aspect or the drama aspect, and then he would also make it sort of a slapstick comedy, like Click. And I hated that just because it was so bipolar with its tone. The first half is really silly and stupid slapstick comedy, and the second half is just so depressing. I don't want to be depressed during a comedy. That's why I don't like most dramedies. I hated Bridesmaids. Um, I don't even want to... I hated... Uh, what's that one? It's kind of a funny story. Well, I didn't hate it. I just... I, I don't like it. I didn't think it was particularly that funny because it was just too depressing for me. And um, so I, I don't really like those types of movies that he does. But then when he goes back and tries to do a, you know, a much more sillier movie, it just it doesn't work out that well. Um, like Jack and Jill... It was really bad. It, it was horrible, but I, I felt sorry for it instead of hating it. I thought they really went into that movie without a completed script, and uh, a lot of the jokes felt ad-libbed, but they just didn't work out, and Adam Sandler was just so freaking annoying in that movie. And then he'll do movies like Bedtime Stories, which are really generic kids' fluff, and oddly, I kind of liked Grown Ups, even though it was bad. It has no plot. It has no conflict. But I actually liked that about it. It was just a very relaxing movie, and it was what I wanted to watch at the time. Whether it's, I would say I'm a fan of it, I'm not sure, but I thought it was amusing enough. But I, I don't even bother with this chick flick comedies either. You know, so at least Adam Sandler does try to mix uh, his shit up. But the genres he tends to break out into just don't interest me that much. So one of the things that was interesting about uh, That's My Boy was that it would be his return to this, you know, his old school raunchy slapstick comedy. And is it good? I don't know, but it, I didn't hate it either. I thought it was a few steps up over Jack and Jill. I laughed enough. I guess I'd call it a success, but it's nothing great either. What he seems to be doing here is he's trying to get that edgier kind of humor that The Hangover inspired, but uh, it's maybe a bit too raunchy for its own good. One thing, at least with The Hangover and its sequel, which is pretty much just The Hangover all over again, you know, it was raunchy, but it kind of felt believable for the characters who participated in the raunchiness of that movie. Here, it just at sometimes it seems maybe a bit too raunchy for the sake of being raunchy. Like, there's at one point this girl, um, she sees that her wedding dress has been vomited on, and she sees another stain, which is obviously semen, and for some reason she decides she's going to lick the semen stain to, to confirm if it is semen or not. And who would do that? Um, that just felt so out of place with that character. I would understand that maybe if she was, you know, that weird character from The Hangover played by Zach Galifianakis or whatever his name is, okay, that's the type of thing I'd see him doing, but she was relatively, uh, well, I don't want to go too far with like, when saying normal, but she, she didn't strike me as the type of person who would do that sort of thing. And um, 
the film, it's very unbelievable, which I personally prefer comedy that is more or less grounded in realism, um, even if it's maybe a little contrived. Here, though, like, Adam Sandler, he's playing sort of a man-child, which I didn't really understand because, um, on one hand, it's like the movie wanted to play up that he's a has-been more than anything, but he just... They, he, it's, he's pretty much almost playing Billy Madison all over again. I just didn't think that worked as well. But at the same time, I think what really made this movie uh, work more than not is the supporting characters made me laugh a lot. I thought the supporting cast was really good. I liked the cameos. Um, Vanilla Ice shows up, shows up, and he's actually pretty funny. And um, they had some funny lines. See, that's where I felt Jack and Jill really screwed up, is, and why I believe that there wasn't a whole lot of script there, is... Um, the lines themselves weren't very clever or interesting. Here there are uh, some really good lines. Um, Adam Sandler, you know, he's over the top, and you, you'll find him annoying if you don't like Adam Sandler. But I thought he had some good uh, reactionary humor. And um, Andy Samberg is more or less playing the straight guy, but he's kind of a douche, too. In fact, now that I think about it, this movie does share sort of the same structure as Jack and Jill in that the character... Their annoying relative is coming over to visit, and, you know, hijinks ensue. You know, it's like, in some ways, they make everything worse for them, but then they also make everything better for him. So, like, with this movie, he totally makes, an, Adam Sandler totally makes an ass out of himself and embarrasses his son, but then he also makes it right during that same scene. And um, it just, you know, it's a very conventional structure. It ends as you'd expect it to end, but, you know, at least the ride was relatively enjoyable. It had enough funny moments. Um, that's really all I could say about a comedy. I'm sorry, there's not a whole lot I could do here. With comedy, it always, it always comes down to uh, do you find it funny or not? And I thought it was more funny than not, so I guess I'd consider this a success. I did not write a written review. There would be nothing for me to write. But uh, I'd say this, if you like Adam Sandler, definitely give it a look. It has everything that you'd want out of an Adam Sandler movie, him acting totally goofy, but it also has some legitimately funny moments, and the supporting cast is really good. If you don't like Adam Sandler, don't bother. It's just the same stuff you've seen before. Even if it is a little bit better, that's not going to do anything for you. And uh, if you're maybe closer to me, more like a casual fan, I'd say it's worth a rental. But if you do decide to go see it in theaters, just watch it as a matinee. Because there's nothing great about it. It's not like The Hangover or even Bridesmaids, even though I hated Bridesmaids, where it's you really feel that this might revolutionize comedy. It's just a harmless, sometimes enjoyable, but ultimately forgettable movie that happens to star Adam Sandler. So that's really all I have to say about it. And um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Bad Kitty. And I'll see you guys later.